feels back. Ten. Nine. Donovan Frost here with Laser Rods, where I'm reviewing one of the best action films from the late 80s. Steel Justice! I told you to stay down! Oh, I got great playmates. Of course. The Troopers, made by Iron Maiden member Bruce Dickinson. Holy shit! Well, hello, it's laser disc time. We're sitting around drinking beer, watching laser disc. Finally, it's laser disc time. Where I kick back with the beer, spin a laser disc. Few good men, house party too. And this is Doubt Fire and Turbulence. Highlander 2, X Files, Garth Brooks, and the True Lies. Well, hello, it's laser disc time. Where we sit around drink beer, watching laser disc. Finally, it's laser disc time. Where I sit down drinking laser disc and watch some beer. Ah, laser Rides, brought to you by... This may be the most ridiculous film I have ever seen, and that is saying something. It is a man who was destroyed from the Vietnam War. He's literally invincible. Easy, Akima. Like your boss said, the war's over. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Leave them for the VC. <laughs> Most mostly everyone who gets shy lips, which is pretty cool, uh idea for a film, I think. I think they should bring that back, the no-death rule. Very good. So, what can I say about this? He doesn't look too good, does he? No. But we'll make him look better. <laughs> Try this instead. It has one of the most ridiculous montages I have ever seen. Yeah. 
uh, fun fact, uh, the band that's playing that is called Hot Pursuit, and they were a band out of Columbus, Ohio, that were full of police officers that were funded by the D.A.R.E. program. I'm not sure if you remember that. They uh, got together and uh, decided to write some positive music. He's not here! It's a snake! It's only a pet. He bit me! It's nothing. He's harmless. One! So let's uh let's crack the beer open real quick. Oh, look at that. Whoa, hello. We're exploding. It's a very decorative can. Look at that can. It's got the fucking Iron Maiden on the front. This is so cool. I saw this, I was like, ah, Steel Justice and The Trooper! Um, it's 4.7%, which is surprisingly low for a beer that looks like uh it's meant to uh, kick you in the ass. But uh which is good. You can have a few of these and not be totally bonkers. Bonkers. I said bonkers. Really cool can. I'm staying in this can. Um, it says charged with flavor on the bottom. Oops, you see that? There we go. Charged with flavor. Ridiculous can. Um, let's give it a taster. Look at that head, though. Um, pretty uh, bubbly. It's an English ale. It smells a little sour. Not much carbonation to it. And actually not too complex of a flavor. Um, you can't taste the alcohol. You taste a little bit of lime in there. I think there are three different hops. Let's see what the can says. We got uh, a unique blend of Bobeck, Groundlings, and Cascade hops. So we uh, got a Cascade shout out here. A little more. Still justice provided. I believe we are talking about your wife. Ex-wife. What do you mean, ex-wife? I mean you make a lousy shield. The last thing I remember is you told me you wanted me out of your life. You mean... You don't mind if I kill her? Hell no. I'll help you. weird. It, it almost has like a cigarette ash t aftertaste. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but you know, you're sitting there shredding on the guitar for a few hours, having a few brews, and you know, sometimes you mistakenly ash your cigarette in your beer. Whatever. So, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the disc itself. I got it um, with a lot of films uh, that were on a army base in the library there. I think this actually came from the United Arab Emirates. So that's uh, really cool, far flung. It's an uh, image entertainment release uh, by KVC Home Video. Highly recommended from Laser Eye Productions. Um, and so is the beer. I 
saw it on Amazon, they have it on Blu-ray, oddly enough, for $15, so buy this immediately and watch it, because there is just so much to it. So much to it. Same for the beer. Buy uh, Trooper, created by Iron Maiden. You're under arrest for discharging a weapon in the city limits. My friend might have something to say about that. His name's Three Step, and if he bites you, within three steps you're his turn. you stop it and put Three Step away before he gets hurt? Would you please do me a favor and go with the police? Okay. A decent pair. I'd give it a, uh... I'll give it an 8 out of 10 on the laser rat scale. Uh, you can drink uh, a handful of these and feel pretty good about it. Now, Steel Justice uh, inhabits a realm of film that I love the most. So, some people will think, really, you're giving it that score? And I'm going to say, fuck you. Yeah, I am. Steel Justice gets a 10 out of 10 on the laser rat scale. It is the epitome of awesome 80s action films. Look at the cover of this thing. It's intricate as fuck. It looks like the cover of a Metal Gear Solid game. It's so cool. Yeah, highly recommend <laughs> the background. Glad I saw this. Look what we got there. We have her holding the snake. It's, it's posing too. We have... Uh, Mr. Steel Justice himself. Um, yeah. So Donner Frost here for Laser Rot signing out. Uh, hit me up with a comment if you have any film suggestions I can pick up uh, or if you have uh, any complaints. I love hearing complaints. I have a beer you want me to review. Give me that too. I'll make that. Peace. And here's to Steel Justice. The best film I've reviewed this season. Cheshire. He might. Do you know Cheshire why? I, I think Sun Tzu wrote about that. Those who weareth the poison snake weareth the death of their enemies around their neck. Sun Tzu. Art of War, Art of Laserdisc.